Steve Hazel here again. Um, we're looking at a fuel tank. I got my good buddy Sean Hiscock from Oak Station Community College. He's the instructor for the uh, oil burner systems heat technician. What is it? Oil heat systems, oil heat technician. systems heat. technician. Come on. How many times? Um, we're going to talk about steel tanks installed inside and uh, a little secondary containment underneath there in case there's a drip. We got our good buddy here from Marklin Engineering, Mike Friel, with us to uh, explain the oil yellow product. We're sliding underneath the tank. Okay, this, uh, this is what we call our large Y tray. The reason we give it that name is essentially this type of tray is where we're going to actually install the tank inside the tray as opposed to a narrow tray which basically just slides in between your two legs. So this here, this tray here, uh, the best way to install this is to set it beside your tank. Um, we'd like to have make sure your tank area is nice and clean. Uh, so the tank should be moved away from your final uh, installation point when, when you install the tank into the tray. You can finish doing all your fittings while the tank's in the tray. And then after that point, then you move, slide the whole tray with the tank back into position. Now you want a clean light so there's no debris poking through that tray at the end of the day. Is that the reason? You gotta see. Yeah, that's essentially it. We don't want to have anything affect the, uh, the tray. So. It'll certainly take a little bit, but we don't want to have any rocks or anything up and underneath it. One little sheet metal screw will do it in. So Mike's installing some heavy-duty uh, pads there for underneath the legs of the tank. Obviously, this, this tank full of fuel is going about 2,000 pounds. Um, you don't want that pressure coming down on some raw steel legs. So what he's got is a couple of nice little uh, pads of steel there. An installation kit that you can purchase along with your oil yellow tray. Yeah, they come with neoprene gasket, so it's basically just galvanized plates and they're sitting on a neoprene gasket. And that will essentially protect the plate. Now, two people can do this, but it's a little bit more work, so if, in the case of this, I'm going to help and uh, slide the tray in place once the uh, once, uh, gentleman Once again, Mike, the, the instructions come with that, don't they? Yeah, the instructions are there. Take five seconds, give them a read. It's pretty simple stuff. Are we ready? Yep. Okay. Pretty nice. That's essentially all there is to it. You may want to just lift each end, center the plates, uh, and that way there you can make your, your, your adjustment. If you need to adjust the plate, just center them. And now the tank's ready to be moved into its final resting place. In this particular case, you'll notice that the filters are located inside the tray. Make sure all your filters are inside the tray area. The trays also handle any kind of overfill, because if you have an overfill, it'll drip down into the tray. So now that the tank's in the tray, you've made all your connections, now's the time to move the, the tank back into place. So you just grab the uh, tray itself and just slide it back. In this case, we're in the uh, in the garage of the uh, oil heat lab. So we're just this will be its final resting spot. But then your basically your tank is ready for its final connections. Okay, guys. Thanks. Obviously, this is demonstration. We wouldn't be putting it in front of a bay door with the proper protection. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Mike. Thanks, Steve.